don't even know what date it is. What date is it, guys? Seventeenth. 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 The actual king plank, the part that you're going to see, yeah, is only this wide. See these two lines here? That's a, that's a turnbuckle. That's a turnbuckle, right? There, there it is, huh? That's it. Yeah. And, and to my mind, one of the most dangerous things on the boat. Wow. <laughs> has to be improved a little bit so that seat doesn't slip and slide around. Oh, that's beautiful work. That is beautiful work. Don't tell Dave I said that. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, you're very welcome. Merry Christmas. All right. We'll see you. See you. Yes. <laughs> Don't do nothing first. know what date it is. What date is it, guys? Uh, 17th? 17th. 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 All right. Scaffolding. Well, scaffolding's up. Let's go up. What does it look like? Up wow, there? yeah. It looks like a boat. <laughs> oh, look at that. Ah, feels so good. Hey, Doug. Good How morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Happy uh, end of the year, almost. Happy end of yes, the year. happy end of the year. Yes. Yeah, this is our last, our last episode of the year. How's it going, episode uh, forty. We are experimenting with bending our teeth here. With bending your teeth. Well, this boat okay. we were talking about, Chocho Sun, is six feet shorter and two feet wider. So it's got a yeah, lot of deck curve. Yeah. This boat. It's got a lot of curve, but it's longer and narrower. So the teak bends in fairly readily. Is this a piece of teak right here? Yeah, this isn't one we're gonna use. This is kind of a, well, it's, a it's good enough. Okay. The ends aren't very good, but we can use it for shorter pieces. This is mainly just a sampling. Like we've gotta make a lot of patterns like this in order to, we gotta make a little jig for that. So What's the we, pattern? For this well, just little cutout? Yeah, when we put the deck down, this piece of hardware has to go right back in those holes. Okay. So we have that to do in several places. Gotcha. Um, and we're up here on the bow. This is this part here. We're just figuring out our plank lengths and widths and so forth. Okay. I didn't know we were gonna you were gonna be working on the uh, deck right away. I thought we were going down below. Oh, we are. Okay. But we wanted to get our brain wrapped around. <laughs> okay, great. What's left of our brain yeah. wrapped around this. Great, great, great. So, uh, and also by doing so, we, we have to buy one more piece of teeth. Because our longest piece is like 14 something. Okay. This one's 15 two. Oh, okay. The one piece, that's it. <laughs> okay. One more piece, okay. You know, one chunk. Yeah. About this wide. Okay. Because see, this is gonna be sawn. Is that gonna be a different color than the rest? No. You like this. See, teak, see the color of that? That was only cut like an hour ago. Okay. Tomorrow that'll be orange. <laughs> and then it'll slowly, you know, as it oxidizes, it'll change to its final color. Okay. But when you rip teak, it turns, a lot of times it turns out green looking on the inside. Oh. The color green. Uh, anyway, so, once you're dead, get on your head. Going. And this batten here, we were figuring out ah. how we're going to do our nibs and so forth. But this measurement, 13 and 3 quarters, okay. is constant. And by golly, the other side is the same. It's the only place. 13 and 3 quarters. It's the only spot on a boat that's the same <laughs> so far that we've found. Okay. Um, I mean, so if you create the same angle, if you run it right along there and meet the nibs at an equal place up at the top. Yeah, exactly. You're saying it just happens to fall back perfectly. Exactly. Wow. And, and so, when, when you do the nibs. Good job, Italian boat builders. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the actual king plank, the part that you're gonna see, yeah. is only this wide. See these two lines here? Okay. And the plywood comes in and butts in the middle so that the nibs are laid out on the plywood pieces already. Right, yeah. They're 
inch and a quarter offset or something. I have it, the information on it. But yeah, they have to arrive in the same spot up here at the same time on each side. So fortunately that was, that distance there was the same on both sides of the boat. Probably from uh, the original. Plus when we, when we cut this, remember we had to cut this? Yeah, so you trimmed it off a little bit to yeah. clean it up. Yeah. The batten. The batten. So we, we tried to make that as symmetrical as we could. So Rich is off today. Well, he was here and we we're going, you know what? We're going to be right stumbling over each other. He's got all this sanded. Right. All through the boat. That's so. great. All down in the hole here, so it's ready for its final coat. Okay, so this bottom was resanded <coughs> to get a new coat. Yep. Okay. Are you gonna wait until the final planks are put on to do that final coat, or do no, as much you, as you can now? Just do as much as you can. Okay. And then that way you don't have a big painting project. You have a bunch of little ones. Okay. So you do paint? Do you paint over the tops of these? No, no. We we'll hit those, sand them lightly or heavily. Right. And we're gonna glue the plywood to them. Right. So you don't want paint in the way. Okay. Everything's going to be glued to everything because the next time this deck comes off, well, well, we won't I, be on this planet. No, and the boats will be illegal to own. <laughs> they will. They're going to turn into firewood. Why? Why will? Why will boats be illegal? Because they um, can't catch you. What? Out the, I mean, yeah. they can't catch this is because they can't swim very fast. Or they can't get far enough out. Yeah, once you're a couple hundred miles offshore. Yeah, they just drop. I mean, come on. They just drop I, a I, bomb I, on you. My favorite thing about like the the anti-government post. Yes, you and your AR-15s are going to you know go up against an M1 Abrams tank. <laughs> right. Good luck with that. Well, <laughs> I don't think you have to worry about the U.S. military. No. No. What's the next, so what's the next step then? The next three or four days. <laughs> next three or four days, what? What are we working on? What well, are you working on? Well, we're going to... We we're know, going inside, right? Now that we know what we need, I'm going to call the TED and say, send me a 15-foot, 3-inch piece of teak, vertical grain. No questions asked. Cool. Well, one, you know, depending on what he has. So if, if we could, otherwise, we'll have to make it in two pieces, which is not the end of the world. But <laughs> what you well, we won't be really working on the deck for another couple of months, though. Months. What right. Happened? What happened to that other month? I don't know. Like, oh, are we well, going down below to get prepped for, below, for Dave? Well, you now here's what we've got. We've got the uh, patterns made for the stove and the fridge. So. Oh, you already have those got, made. Oh yeah. Okay. A year ago. Okay. <laughs> and right after you got them, remember? Yeah. And uh, we have the new Thunderbox toilet. That is. Okay. And uh, so we have to take that one out. We have some gluing to do down there because the bulkhead delaminations and so forth. We're not going to really put much of the interior in that we've already made until right before we drop the scaffolding again. But we have a bunch of stuff to be made, right? Like the drawer a, there for the uh, right. one refrigerator and... Right. And We're uh, good all the way back to the galley. Yeah. The and galley we, needs some work. I mean, and the bathroom needs some work. Oh, yeah, yeah. So a little bit in the head, the galleys, a little while, in the saloon. Um, we'll know in the next few days what size that uh, top loading fridge is supposed to be. Well, for instance, uh, these backing blocks, we have one up forward which we've made. We have to drill that and install it. Okay. It's already painted. Just So you're saying a lot of little stuff up here. Yeah, making sure that before we start putting this deck down, you know, it's kind of like, uh, you know, make sure that you're not painting yourself in a corner. Sure. So everything cleaned up and painted and... We're going to replace like these drain cables, just these drain oh my God. pipes, yeah. We got to replace these, right? Yeah, and that heater hose unit, I'm not sure if you even want that. I heater. want the heater, of course. Okay. I want to put the little heater back in, absolutely. There's that our, makes everything better on this boat. There's there for the heater hose. Again. Good. Oh, yeah. Oh, got it. So we'll Wherever that unit is, it should be around. Right still. Um, um, no, 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 but there's the actual, the, the, the heater, you know. The heater should be down here. There's a unit right there. That is the unit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's just that's, that little that's thing. The that's the whole. That's the exhaust for yeah, the intake. Yeah, yeah. That whole thing is an entire furnace for the boat. It's so awesome. 
It is great. Changed everything in the boat. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. We never had heat. But you know, in Maine, you have to have the heat. Oh yeah. Well, you know, or you have a little a little desktop heater yeah. just to dry out your clothes and stuff. But when you put that in, it's like all of a sudden it's like, oh, luxury. Nice. Oh, luxury. A luxury for sure. We don't have hot water, but we had at least hot. Well, air. we have that one block that we already made up forward. Um, we just have to put it up, drill a half inch hole. And back here, um, you see all this stuff. They had brought it down through the shear clamp, these two big bolts. Okay. And, uh, which is fine. This is the rear, these are the uh, mooring plates. Mooring plates. Yeah. You can see the bolts down here. They're almost touching the plane. Those are big ass bolts. Yep. And we got all our new chain plate bolts in go. that go through the planking. So this, yeah. So this is this has been cut off. So that needs to be jacked up. No, it's it's oh. hanging way down yeah, underneath. Both, I can see it from those here. Forward ones are hanging down. Okay. So, oh, okay. So the the nut goes on top. Yeah. And there's a nut on the bottom. It's just stainless raw, uh, raw thread. Right. right. Back to you. Are they the uh, same both sides? See, that's why we're up here today. <laughs> Yeah. Reorient ourselves. And that was not solid blocked under there. Just bolted. And wow. There. And there were some big screws in there. What's this tape? Well, there's three screws that went in here, allegedly. Well, we got to take, remember we had to yeah. take all this apart to access the screws, which are counter something to this part of the but where are the screws, John? Maybe they're tied to the other did one. I, did I take it apart? No, no. no. It was Hensley. Oh, John. Hensley. 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 Damn it. Ah. Uh. No Damn it, Hensley. <laughs> so that's, that's a turnbuckle. That's a turnbuckle, right? Yeah. So maybe the other one. Well, we picked, we picked them both up, and there were no there were no loose screws there. Okay. I mean, I had it. There were there lots of 5200 on there. Uh, well, it obviously didn't tear off the boat, so it must have been strong enough. No, this is one thing that never came off. Other things may have yeah. flown off the boat, but not this. No, we various no. glassware and <laughs> we've littered the floor of, of the. We never lost a person, area. or we lost a mask, a couple of masks. Oh. There it is, huh? That's it. Yeah. And, and to my mind, one of the most dangerous things on the boat. Wow. That is. It a, is. Seriously. Uh, I, it, I is there it. a better way we can rig this? Why, there certainly is, Ollie. What would that be? Well, <laughs> I mean, First of all, I hate, I hate that it's into the deck, right? I mean. I don't mind that. I'm just saying, uh, is this thing work good? It's worked in the past. Well, happy, happy? All, all, I'll tell you what. It, when your when your Jenny is not, and especially with the with the Jenna Kirk, uh -huh. when, it, when it's very much uh, full pull without a lot, it's not lifting at all. Mm -hmm. Then it's great. As soon as it starts to lift, <coughs> well, because there's fine. another block here. There's no. There's one. You run it to the block another here. Block. And then, uh, come down. and then up. Okay. So this keeps it on right. the right so angle. That's that's where and and that little thing there is is a is always like yeah. How many turns do you want it? So you know how many angles. Right. But it certainly is workable. It's never been. It's never been. Why would it be better to have one that angles up? Well, no. As long as you have another block here. Yeah. And you have to have that other block. And the, the the angle is correct. This is sloped towards the range. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you're saying this is what kills the toes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, either side. Both of us pinky have. toes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You catch a pinky toe on that. And but nowadays, you know what? I let people go wear shoes on the boat. Right. I don't this care if nice. anybody, I don't make people take their shoes off. No. No, you're clean. No. Japanese? <laughs> well, no, I mean, the thing was, part of it was that it was the kids, mm. is that we'd wear those boat shoes into the sand. And, oh. the, and the, the little sipes pick up sand, and then you're scuffing all the bright work. Sure. So, and then you're leaving dirt everywhere. And, and so there was always the, you know, go barefoot or have your own have boat shoes, and none of us ever could figure that out. So it was children, you know, it's fucking yeah. stupid. Um, just now, now it's like, 
Just, you know, you know, just don't step on the right with yeah. your shoes because first of all, you'll fall and kill yourself. The support ship's piece. Okay. Which we couldn't help but wreck because of the epoxy. We'll just make a new one. Okay, you see how it sits here? Okay. The, I'm trying to say here, the seat. Yes. And the propane line. Yes. Has to be improved a little bit so that, that seat doesn't slip and slide around. I have to put some. Right, because there was, there was a piece of teak, there was a teak uh, seat over the top of the lid. Yeah, it's right down yeah. there. Yeah. And, it, and it never quite fit right. Well, it, it just would loose. have a tendency to slide out. Slide right. off of there? Yeah, it would slide off of the Which shelf. Is, yeah. If you're sitting on it, it just piss you off, but if you step on it and it slides. Oh, it could be killer. And you're hurt. Yeah. So we'll, we'll deal with that, but. Um, you put just what, like some little re recessed holes so it can lock down into it or something. How do you, how do you lock that in? Yeah, with little cleats. Okay, little and, cleats. And or recess it, but what was I going with that? Um, the lid for the propane, we had to. Yeah. This had little <clears throat> two inch long planks in it. Right. Because this was cut out later, I think, or something. So we're not gonna do that. We'll just put a solid piece across. Okay. So that it that it runs the runs off the cross yeah. yeah. Just a solid piece right. of wood. Right. right. You're right. saying that the propane locker was probably added afterwards when the original decking just came all the way through. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't any. Yeah, so they just cut the deck out. Right. Built the locker in somehow. And uh, where is the decking? So you're saying instead of putting all the little accent pieces of decking there, just put one, <laughs> one accent piece. piece. That's good. Yeah, just one piece, boom. It's done. But here, see this bulkhead here? Mm -hmm. This this is an inch thick. Okay. And we rabbit it into the beam, so the beam is actually sitting in about a three eighths inch rabbit. So that it's it's now highly improved over what was there, and as well as this one. Right. <clears throat> All right, well, we're ready so, to go. So here's a question for you. The, the, yes, the thwart ship piece this comes across always sat away from the boom, or from the mast, from the, from the mizzen mast. This piece. Right. Mm -hmm. it sits about three inches away. And you really like to be able to lean against the mizzen when you're sitting at the tiller. Uh -huh. I think you need a special you cushion need a, or something. Something there that either to move the piece back So you have a nice little backrest? So, you, so did you not, well no, because otherwise what you end up with is this. Right, you have the, the little cross uh, piece yeah. right in the middle. So you, can, so you want to actually take this, if you could, and push it back closer to the mizzen, but I don't know if that's really feasible to think about. So that was a thought. I'm gonna mess your Well, we used to just put a cushion back there. That's what makes up the gap. Okay. Because <laughs> you culture. need something to, to lean back against. You need something to lean back against. I know what you mean, yeah. So. It's always something. That, like, sometimes these aren't high enough. Right, they're just know. not quite high enough. Everything's like, if they're too high, yeah. you're in trouble. Those yeah. This boat was not built for comfort. No. Boat was built to sail and to look beautiful. Right. What's the saying? A ship is safe when it's in port, yeah, but that's, but that's not what ship. ships are built for. Hey, you know that. Okay. Dave dropped off some of his electrical stuff, so this is a segment of the of the next episode. Electrical update. And there's the panel. Beautiful, huh? Look at that thing. Oh, he's got the hot tub switch on. Oh, the hot tub switch is on? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Wow, well, that's a beauty, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, what else we got here? That's we got a, some coils of cable. This is all the low voltage. That's it. Look at, look at this work behind here. This is what, I quite frankly, this is what you paid the trouble for. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful work. That is beautiful work. Don't tell Dave I said that. No. What it'll, it'll cost you. <laughs> yeah, that's clean. Yeah, yeah, clean. really clean. I like this. He's got the choke on it. What's the choke? Is to keep uh, keeps it from um, transmitting uh, straight electricity. Even so, yeah. Thank you. Something. Right. So, so hang on. The question was, why are there such short ends on these? Mm -hmm. And we were told because there's going to be some kind of a junction box. Right. See, so look here. So let's say you're coming from running lights. Mm -hmm. There's more than one light. 
Oh, yeah. Okay? But they all come to this thing, so they have to come to a junction block where the all power the comes to here come and then it splits. Gotcha. So that's the, that's the thought. Because you don't want to run everything directly to the panel or you've just got a billion switches. Now, yeah. Doug, uh, do you like the way he's made this uh, wood panel? Uh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Tin coated wire? Yeah. Looks like about 10 gauge? No. Mm -hmm. Good heavy stuff. Well, let's see. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you didn't want 16 no, gauge? No, it's 10. <laughs> ten, ten, 10 gauge. Nice. No, okay. you, probably... you, don't want, you don't want 22 gauge. You know, <laughs> And this is 14 gauge, three conductor, right? 100 feet there. That's, that's probably that's general general purpose for lighting and so forth. 14 is a good good size. And then this stuff is for the batteries, I guess. Big big ass. So it's actually not. This is three conductor with a ground. Oh, maybe that's for the windlass with the control. This is cabin lighting stuff. Uh huh. The home runs. Right, exactly. Right to the to the to front the, to, to the, the front split, of the boat. Right. right from the front of the boat to the patch, to the patch bed or whatever you call it. Okay. Junk All right. Well, maybe uh, we'll next time we're here, we'll start seeing some of this stuff put in. in Angelo. Talk to me. I'm good. Hold on a second. How are you doing? Yeah, good, man. Good. How are you doing? It's pouring rain right now? Yeah, it's just, I think it's just Oregon. I just think that that's going to be pretty much all the way to Vancouver. But uh, anyway, I'm, I'm accepted it, but I can deal with it. Gotcha. Uh, but otherwise, everything's going well. Uh, getting some good mileage in the past couple of days. And uh, yeah, just looking forward to getting supported. Merry Christmas, and uh, this is the last episode of the year. Awesome. Yeah. Good to see you in the first of the after the first. Thank you, thank you. Sorry. Appreciate it. All right, you're very welcome. Of course, it. of course. Douglas? <laughs> <laughs> Who calls him Douglas? Dougie. Dougie? Dougie. All right, we're, we're going to get out of here. We'll let you guys get back to work. We didn't see any real work today, but we went over some stuff. What are you guys working? I mean, are you going to start something right now? Or are you gonna I'm going to make those blocks. Clint's gonna make the blocks. Yeah. Oh, nice. For the, okay. For the turning blocks, yeah. You know, we can make them, paint them, paint them. See if we can get that angle drill and drill underneath. That way we can just put the deck right on it. You know what I mean? Maybe one or two little screws to hold. Little set screws? Yeah. I need to get some actually shots of the hull, all beautiful and polished. All right, well, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, we'll see we'll you. See guys you. Again. Yes. We'll see you after the first. Okay. Take good care. All right, guys. All right, yes, yes. We left a little a bottle of wine and a card there for you. Oh, don't drink it all at one time. All you don't right, want to hurt yourself. Where's the corkscrew? I won't let him open it until quitting time. Quitting time. Because <laughs> then he'll be, asleep. he'll be asleep by four instead of like he goes to sleep already at six, six, six at night. Curled up. <laughs> <laughs> You can drive it down and then pull the whole thing up. Yep.